Hello, I'm ours. I am Becky Rebecca Patricia Armstrong. So let's see what people search about me in Google. <laughs> so the first one, hmm? who is Lei Long? <laughs> who is? Who is Becky Armstrong? Hmm. Good question. She's a girl about 20 years old, turning 21 soon. She studies law. She studies psychology and criminology. She's also an actress. She loves to sing. She loves her dog. She loves her family. She loves her fans as well. Yeah. Okay, this is a question that I get all the time. Just even just seeing Becky Armstrong and Neil Armstrong, am I correct? Relationship. Okay. I guess this is a question that everyone wants to know. Am I related to Neil Armstrong? No, I'm not related to Neil Armstrong. But we do share the same last name. But I do have family who is in NASA, though. So, hmm, that's something I probably never really told anyone. So, but not Neil Armstrong. It'd be cool to be related to the first person who stepped on the moon. <laughs> Becky Armstrong. MBTI personality type. Oh, this is like that long ass quiz. Personally, I've never done the test because it's so long. <laughs> like, I keep going, okay, we're not the end yet, we're not the end yet. But my personality type, I can already probably tell you, is introvert. I do not like socializing that much. I prefer to stay at home, watch movies, eat inside, avoid seeing people. But every day, my daily job is going out and meeting new people every day, which is exciting as well. So maybe this year, I've gained like maybe 10% extrovert, but still 90% introvert because I, I like spending time by myself. But a thing I feel like people tend to misunderstand about introverts is that they like to be alone. But the thing is about introverts is I feel like if with the right person, you don't mind to be with them as well. You become extrovert in another way. Yeah, I think, I think, I think that summarizes me. Becky Armstrong. Becky Armstrong. What is it? What is it? What do you think it is? <laughs> People actually <are> fix this. <laughs> well, ah, uh, my routine, right? It's actually very hectic. One day of mine. Say I wake up at 6 a.m. I go do makeup at 7 a.m. I start work around 9. Let's say, let's say 9 a.m. I may finish work at around let's say 5, 5, 5 to 6 p.m. If it's not like filming or anything, but if filming would be like 10 p.m. When I finish um, work, I use, normally usually have something to eat. I will have like, well now, because I'm getting ready for my birthday concert, I will have salad and everything like that. I will have clean food. Yes. And then after that, I will try to find time to go to fitness. And um, after that, I will go back home. I will play with my dog, Bon Bon. And then I will watch some TV. And then I will read my scripts, Uranus and Bin Pap. Bin Pap a bit more because the tie is super, super, super hard and I have to like sit there and go like, mm hmm, yes, this word, this word, this word, yeah. <laughs> and after that, I would maybe try to sleep. <laughs> I would try to sleep for a couple hours. I'll set my alarm and I'll wake up at probably about 2 to 3 a.m. And then I'll go on to, I'll sit down at like my table and I'll be like, yeah, what am I, what am I doing today? enter university class and then I will listen to the lecture and try not to fall asleep <laughs> but at around probably four I think I can do one hour max at the rate of 3 a.m. because it's like you're sleepy you're sleepy at 3 a.m. but I try to listen to everything so I don't have to come back and go back to the beginning and learn everything and then I go to bed and then I wake up and start again yeah 